back to MBE. Today I want to compare the Dart 11 degree versus the new technology of the MBE 9 degree Big Chief style head. So the MBE Big 9 versus the Dart 11. This Dart 11 has the MBE porting in it and everything, but still with the MBE porting compared to the MBE porting on the Big 9, there's a 50 horsepower difference between these two heads. But there's many more advantages to going to something that has technology that's, you know, gotta remember this head's all of 20 years old. All of 20. So let's, let's get back to 2019, not worry about 1998, okay? So when, when you have 20 more years to work on things, things change, things evolve, well everything has been evolved into this, okay? So we have the Dart, 2.520 intake valve. The big nine, 2.550, okay? The dart head with the MBE program is about 565 CFM. I got 560 written in the sheet, but it's about 565, okay? That's a real number on a 1020, because as everybody knows, we don't embellish them. The MBE big nine goes over 600 CFM. On a 600 flow bench compared to a 1020 flow bench, this will probably flow probably in the 625 range. Okay, because 600 flow bench really doesn't give you the, the best ideal numbers. Okay, so then you go to the exhaust, 300 and, over 370 CFM, 345 CFM. Okay, the valve positioning, if you look at the valve positioning, look at how much the MBE Big 9 is rotated. Okay, so more like a DRCE3 is how that's rotated. Okay, and then if you go over to the if you go over to here, you see that it hasn't been rotated because this is how we did things 20 years ago. Things have evolved. Okay, when you rotate that, the exhaust gets better. The push rod clearance gets better because everything gets narrower. Um, it just makes everything better. Okay, the Dart 11 degree has a basically a standard Big Chief port height. The MBE Big 9 has been raised 350 thousandths. The reason why it was raised 350 thousandths is because when you go from 11 degree to 9 degree, this will have to be raised here because the air cannot turn 90 degrees. Okay, so let's see. Here, let's see. Both, the, both the Dart 11 degree and the MBE 9 degree, when we designed this, because we had more 11 degree customers at the time, um, which is not the case anymore by, by any means, but um, they both have the same exhaust flange. So meaning, if you have an 11 degree set of, 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 of headers, they will fit on the MBE Big 9, okay? So that's one less thing you have to buy, okay? The other thing is 11 degree valve angle. If you watched the video earlier, so this is at 11 degree, okay? So like this, the nine is flatter to the deck, okay? What that does, if you look at the chambers, look at this chamber here, okay? We cannot come flat off from here to here. So basically, when you come over to the MBE 9 degree head, this becomes part of your part of your top angle on the valve job. The chamber is actually part of your part of the part of the valve job, which is, makes it so nice because then the mid lift numbers go up significantly. You're looking at you're looking at as much as 10% in places in the middle in the in the mid lift low numbers, which helps the curve, which makes it accelerate better. It just helps everything else. Now, when we show the advantages of the rocker system from an 11 degree to the MB Big 9, it's just not one single thing. It's many things um, that it helps. You know, just like if you change one thing, it usually changes three more, right? So this is no different. Okay, so here is the antiquated 11 degree. Okay, look at this. This is a single bar that goes, it does the intakes with a single bar, okay? Okay, that's great, but it has one fastener holding the rocker bar over here. Excellent, well, that's, that's great. Um, that might have been good in like 1980, but even in the 80s we realized that that wasn't a good idea, okay? So now when you come over to the MBE Big 9, this is a single rocker bar. This is a single rocker bar. It's a huge rocker bar, all steel that encapsulates all these together. So now you have, there's two here for the intake. 
Not to mention, there's two here, there's two here. There's, so this whole thing will not flex. So what it does, it, allow, it doesn't have as much deflection. Deflection should be a four letter word. Without the deflection, you can put more valve lift in it. The valve train will be more stable. We've learned this for years on the Spintrons, okay? This information is readily available, okay? The difference is, when you come to MBE, you don't get something that's antiquated from 1998. You get something that's updated in 2019, okay? So you gotta remember, this, this whole intake bar, if you just looked at this one cylinder alone, has four fasteners holding just this one cylinder down. And then over here, you have one. So, now think about this. With spring, with open spring pressures, if you run one inch of 1,300 pounds, or even if you run 950, you're still going to be at the 1180 to 1300 pound range at open. You think that 1716 fastener is working? You know, I don't think so. But these these four will be working to keep it rigid, okay? So a single steel bar. Okay, but what that does is that increases your spring life. It increases your lifter life. It just goes on and on and on. And the rocker life's better because everything is rigid. The rockers aren't doing this. You know, when the valve opens, it's, the rocker's not twisting because the bar's not coming up on one end or, or another. So it makes everything better. So the bearings, everything lasts better in the rocker systems. So it's, I don't, if you can't see this, I, I don't know what to say, you know. And now the exhaust side. So now we talk about the exhaust side. You got the dart. It's an individual pedestal. This is not a one-piece bar doing all this. It's an individual pedestal that has two fasteners. Okay, now mind you, there's no fastener over here even, okay? So what do you think, that, what do you think this is going to do? This isn't even centered with this bolt hole here, okay? Because, because this is in the way. That's, that's, a head, that's, that, that's a head bolt hole there. Okay, so what do you think happens when that valve tries to open up? It tries to lift, it tries to take the rocker bar and it tries to do this with it, okay? And then you come over to the MBE Big 9. Now mind you, it has a one-piece bar, four fasteners on the exhaust side. There is no tipping of the rocker. There is none of this, okay? So not only do you have a performance advantage, the head will save you money over time because you won't be putting springs in it as often. You won't be putting lifters in it often. You won't be putting rockers in it as often. As we all know, rockers and lifters are expensive. But then it just goes all the way to the other things because when you create loft, which this creates loft, okay? And when I say loft, I show this a lot in the videos, all we can do is control the loft. So here's your Spintron. Here's your Spintron deal, okay? So we come up here, we have this, we land nicely, then you have this, and then there's pressure angle, and the angle comes in like this, okay? So this would be a nice Spintron, just, you know, with the lifter landing nicely right here and rolling down, okay? The problem is when you have deflection and all of this is going on and this is twisting, you have more loft of the lifter. The problem is this is turning, and then you have pressure angle, and the pressure angle is what makes the valve bounce, which makes which, which, which sends that harmonics up through the push rod, which then hits the spring, puts the spring into a funk, and now the spring goes bad. Or you have valve bounce and the valves go bad. So this, this head versus this head, your valve life is probably 30% better if you're gonna put some lift in it and really try and make some power. Okay, if you're gonna put 850 lift in it, they're probably, they're, it'll still be better. But the most important part of all of this, because you can have this or you can have this. So you can have 50 horsepower, over 600 CFM, 370 on the intake side, the whole rocker bar thing, everything that goes with this for the same price as the 11 degree from MBE. It's the same price. 68.26 for 11 degrees bare, 68.26 for the MBE big nines with the, with the good copper seats and all of that. I always bring that up because most of our competitors put brass seats in. They put an $18 seat in. We put a $55 seat. We always look like we're more money, but it's because we look after you. And we actually, you know, we definitely look after you and not putting that, putting that shitty material in because that material is awful. Okay, really hard on the valve. So it's just another advantage. The same price. 
It seems like an easy choice. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the comparison of the MBE Big 9 versus the Dart 11 degree.